Over any meaningful period of time, Bitcoin is compounded between roughly 30% and 100% per year. Those returns are extraordinary by any standard, but they have historically come with extreme volatility. Bitcoin's history is defined by explosive rallies, followed by deep, prolonged drawdowns. It has gone up 10x or 20x in a matter of months, and it has fallen 80% just as fast. That volatility has also tended to move in rhythm with broader market conditions. Historically, Bitcoin's price has been highly correlated with fiat credit cycles, as shown by its alignment with the copper gold ratio, a gauge on the business cycle, the Russell 2000, the S&P 500, and even the University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment Index. This links the volatility of Bitcoin to both its growing adoption and the liquidity tides of the broader economy. When an asset compounds that fast, it is as if the market has discovered a savings account paying 30 to 100% annually. If such an instrument existed in the traditional banking system, trillions of dollars would flood in overnight. In many ways, that is practically what happens with Bitcoin during each bull market. Each surge in global credit expansion amplifies inflows and each contraction drains liquidity just as quickly. Together, they form the backdrop for Bitcoin's recurring boom and bust pattern. As people and institutions realize that Bitcoin functions as a superior savings technology, a global digital asset with an immutably perfectly fixed supply, capital floods in quickly. Adoption accelerates, narratives form, and speculative fervor builds. These inflows drive the price far above any short-term sustainable equilibrium creating the conditions for the next bear market. When the business cycle turns from inflationary dollar credit expansion to deflationary dollar credit contraction, liquidity tightens, leverage unwinds, and capital flows reverse. Bitcoin corrects sharply. In comparison, the Bitcoin protocol itself is perfectly stable. Its monetary supply is fixed, predictable, and immutable. Everyone knows exactly how many Bitcoins exist today and how many will exist in the future. It is the most transparent monetary policy in human history. What fluctuates is not the supply, it's the demand. Over the long term, demand for a perfectly scarce, self-sovereign monetary asset is increasing. But over the short term, that demand is uncertain, emotional, and cyclical. Howard Marks captured this dynamic in his book, The Most Important Thing, noting that security prices fluctuate much more than the intrinsic value and prospects of the underlying companies. The main reason for this is the extreme volatility in the way people feel about risk. He adds that during euphoric periods, investors begin to believe that risk is my friend, the more risk I take, the more money I make. That observation applies to Bitcoin and, of course, Bitcoin treasury companies as well. In bull markets, optimism about the future turns into overconfidence. Investors lever up, position sizes expand beyond emotional capacity, and risk-taking compounds. When sentiment shifts, those same forces reverse. Leverage unwinds, panic spreads, and volatility spikes. Bitcoin's price swings are not purely mechanical, they are deeply human driven by alternating waves of greed and fear. There is another important factor amplifying this volatility, the ongoing transition of ownership. Bitcoin is still early in its monetization and adoption process. Many early adopters hold large positions accumulated many years ago. As institutional adoption grows through BlackRock Bitcoin ETFs, corporate treasuries, and government strategic reserves, those early holders are gradually selling portions of their stacks, diversifying, or spending. Simultaneously, new entrants are buying in size. For example, since I've joined Similar Scientific as Director of Bitcoin Strategy, I've helped Similar acquire 599 Bitcoin, worth over $50 million. This handoff between generations of holders early adopters exiting and institutions entering is a natural stage of Bitcoin's broader adoption curve. It represents the flow of ownership from risk-tolerant pioneers to larger long-term capital allocators, creating powerful new sources of demand while also contributing to short-term volatility. Bitcoin's volatility today is driven by both adoption growth and by inflationary and deflationary credit cycles in the fiat economy. Thanks for watching everyone and see you next time.